Hello guys, welcome to another episode of AZTV Presents Tech View. Um, today, I'll show you guys uh, how to change local admin password. So the local admin, local admin means whenever you build any machine, any server machine. So by default, it's, it's, it's have an um, admin user, which is called, it's created, it's created by, um, it's created automatically. So, um, whenever you set up the Windows Server machine, the first user is administrator. Name is administrator and it's a default username. And that caller, local admin. But when you add a machine, any, any server machine with the domain, in that time, it's, it's created another user, which is the also default administrator, default username is administrator. So both username is same administrator and that's why every time whenever we see administrator we are confused actually is this a local admin is it or is a domain admin so the domain admin means whenever you have something like your domain name slash administrator that means it's a domain and whenever is a local admin that means your machine name slash administrator that means you are specifying a local admin so let's see how we can specify plus how we can change this password, multiple machine password. So for example, you have a, uh, when you set it up enterprise wise, like enterprise level, um, everybody use some common password for local admin. So, and local admin username is administrator. Everybody knows it's by default. And we can change that local admin name or username. Instead of administrator, we can use something else and we can change it through the GPU. And I'll show you guys in my other episode how you can rename the local admin. Uh, in this today's tutorial, I'll show you guys actually how you can change the password. The one you, so whenever you build, you're not building like thousand server machine in one day or one month, right? So you are building day by day, well, like maybe this month, uh, three server, maybe another month, four server, and the organization is running like last 20 years. So in that case, if you keep the same password, uh, and for some reason, like actually it's not sneak you to have the uh, same password for a long time. So in that case, maybe if you, it depends on your organization. If your organization decide every, three months or every six months, we're gonna change uh, local admin password. And for example, um, say you have total um, 1000 servers and all 1000 server has a local admin. And now it's required by you department, say you have to change local admin password. What do you have to do? So you have to log in each and every individual server. And then you have to change um, local admin password. But how you can do that? If it is a thousand server, that means it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not like you have to log in thousand times in thousand server. So how you can, uh, do all the servers through the script um, from one machine. So you just need to log in one machine and you can just run CMD command, that's it. You can change all thousand servers IP uh, uh, password. So I'm going to share my screen. That's how I can show you guys actually what I'm talking about. So how to change the multiple server local admin password through the script. So for the first thing is you have to download a tool which is called PS tools, PS tools. So, and then we want to download it and then extract it in a local server, whatever server I have access or you have access, download there and make sure your user supposed to have local admin privilege access on all other thousand machine. In that case, you'll be able to do that. Now, let's first check out actually what's the local admin. So this is my environment 
and see this is my VMware environment. These are my home lab. I have a lot of machine here. So each and every individual machine has a local admin class, local admin. So if I go with this machine and how we can check it, if you go uh, come to there, just type a computer, then go to the computer management and local, then group administrator. So here, see, it has a user called administrator. If you go to the user, also you will have see administrator, building account, build in account for administrator. That means this is a building, building for this computer. So this is a local admin. See local users and computers, local administrator. So we want to change this password because when you build at the very beginning, you provide a password. We want to change that password. So which is really, really tough. And also for some reason, if you forget the local admin password, you cannot log in there. So how you can do that? So through this script, through that tools. So now we are going to download these tools, PS tools. It's the Microsoft tools. If you go to web, Microsoft website or Google, if you go if you search on Google, say PS tools, you'll get a link and download PS tools suite, which is this one. I'm going to download this one. And this one is downloading locally on my computer here. Uh, this is actually my, uh, okay, let's do one thing. I'm going to uh, open it on one of my domain controllers, from one of my domain controllers. Let's open here. This is my domain controller. It's not mandatory you have to have a login to the domain controller. If you have a jump machine, do there. Okay, download, so I'm downloading locally here. So now this is, you see, this is a um, G file. So I have to open, I have to go to that location. Open, okay. Okay, so it's on my download folder. See here, the download. Uh, and extract all GPS tools. Okay, I'm going to extract it. So it's a very small tools. Gonna, it's not going to take that long. So the instruction wise, what I have to do. So I have to put this uh, file in software so download, share the tools for uh, tools folder and create the share path like below. So use server domain name. This, this would be actually your script. So how are you gonna share it? You can say something like this. Uh, Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can put it on C drive, E drive, F drive, or, or on the download folder. It doesn't matter. So leave it here and uh, right click on it, go to the properties, and say sharing, uh, advanced sharing, share, uh, say permission, and say allow for everyone, just for a bit, because you're not going to keep it for a long time. So just leave it like this. Uh, for everyone and apply and okay. After you're done, just click the it. Apply and okay and close. So now this one is shared and to have a share path. So what is the share path of it? Uh, properties, security, this is the share path, right? So this end right now in ELS, this is your one, right? So so I put it on my ELS DC01, it's a share, but you are logging, for example, you log in DC02, or you log in some other machine. It's, it doesn't matter, whatever machine you, you just log. So any machine, so you put the uh, PS tools in ELS DC01, now you log in on DC02, from there also you can work. You don't need to switch machine one by one, any from any machine. So I click on it, go to that. Open the PowerShell or anyone, anyone, anyone. 
So you just need to type this one. So slash slash ls this is one because the PS2 system ls this one. But I'm right now I'm sitting on this is zero two, or it can be your jump machine. It doesn't matter. But the only thing you have to keep in mind on your jump machine while you log in, if you whatever username you log in, that user is supposed to have local admin who has access on all of your server machine where you want to change that password. So based on my documents, then password.exe, right? And let me copy this one. You can type it. Uh, I'm going to just copy the whole thing. All right, so in here, what I have to do, space then, like this, right? So not actually this, what I have to do, slash, So let me forget one second. Let's check the script. Well, let's give me one second. So it's gonna be like um, so this will be closed like this, but for the target machine, you can have one space, then another double backslash, then the target machine name. So what is the target machine name? So the target machine name means which machine you want to change. So for example. We want to change this machine. ELS VA PRID DB01, this machine, administrative password. So, for example, this one, right? So I'm going to just copy this one. Over here, this is your job machine. So, paste it here. So, dot ELS dot com. This is my machine name. So, machine name. Then space, uh, admin user name, so whatever the username is, administrator, or if you rename it with something else, mention something else. But in, in my case, I didn't rename it yet. If you rename it, for example, you rename it with something like uh, rename admin, or don't touch me, or don't hit me, or don't something, or uh, don't use it, something. You can rename it with anything, right? So if you already change your local admin name, like your username, instead of administrator, you use something else. So provide something else, whatever you use. But in my case, still I have administrator. You say admin user, local admin user, plus name is administrator. So provide that administrator username and password. The so and password means what? You don't need to provide actually end, you find this is just a password. So what the password you want to put? For example, I have once welcome one, two, three, the last one. Just just as an example, just as an example. So now I'm sitting on ELSDC02 and I'm changing password for this one. And this password will be changed. So I'm sitting here and from here, I can run this same command for all thousand machines. So the only thing I have to do, I have to change the machine name. That's it, nothing else. So let's do it. Click enter and see what it says.
So password successfully changed. What did so what did, what did did like it's, it's already changed the password, right? So how are we gonna prove it? How how we can prove it? So let's do this one. We just change this one the password, right? Let's go. So what the password we provide for new password? Welcome one to three. The last one, right? And this this is the user. So this user password we just we just change, and it takes like a second, right? Let's do let's log in there. How we can log in there? All right. So if you want to do the RDP, RDP there. Remote text, right? From the remote text, what are you gonna do? Type the machine name, then connect. All right, so maybe the RDP is not anymore. It should be. Yeah, let's see the the means that you are trying to connect. All right, so uh, it doesn't matter because, oh. The reason I am not able to do from here because this is my laptop. The, um, right now, time from the so because my laptop is not a part of the domain. That's why. Right. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> what do you have to do? So usually, you should log in with the domain name, like for example, my domain is ELS slash administrator administrator right but and then faster that means you're logging as a domain admin but our target is not logging as a domain admin our target is to log in as a administ uh, login as a local admin right so for local admin login how you can log in you have to provide the machine name first machine name slash administrator this is how you can define the local admin now you put the password which is W E L C U and welcome one two three dollar sign which one we just request C I type exactly whatever we provide that we change the new password. This is the new one. Welcome one two three dollar sign. Now it's okay. And yes. See? You're able to log in. You're able to log in there. So it's, it's nothing actually. Uh, it shouldn't like you don't have um, RDP access. So which is it's not that it should be different things. Because the reason it shows because we have GPA policy where um, I just want to show like a, this is just showing because of the GPA policy, nothing else. Here, so in here I have only this one. That's why it's showing. Uh, this. It's nothing. So whatever our whatever was our target, we already did this. We changed the password. And uh, now I just want to show. So call user rights assignment, right? User rights assignment. And here, we just need to add a administrator, which is local admin. Mm 
and this is the GPU chain actually. For that reason, we need to just actually this is not our previous subject actually. We can just run GPU update. So now, if you want to change for the second one password, I'm going to do that. The same thing, same process. I just need to have a machine name, copy, and you can see it on the same server. Say, so just the other sign again, and just change on the machine, just on the machine, the machine name, that's it. Just machine name. Everything is same, right? So you are not doing anything, you just change um, the machine name. And we are sitting on the same machine. Now we are sitting for other machine. We can cut the same password successfully change. So this is how you can change the password. Local admin password. We don't text it with the machine name. No, not this one. This one. This is update to that. GPU, so I can try it again. Connect. So the machine name slash ADMI CR DR disorder. And then password. One, two, three, double. So which one we just change, right? Welcome on the three and that is okay. Yes. So we are able to log in there. So did see so we are successfully able to log in with the local admin with, with a new password. With so this new password, with this new password. So this is how actually we can change. The local admin password. If you have a multiple, so nothing else, you just click uh, on your app from the keyboard, just up arrow, and you'll get the whole command. So, the less, so you just need to change this one, the machine name. Nothing else, everything is same. So, if you have a thousand machine, you just need to change thousand times that machine name, that nothing else. So instead of logging each and individual box with the previous local admin password and then change the new one, which is which is going to take a long time for you because whatever is logging, there is a login process plus loading time, network traffic, everything you have to face. But in this way, it's very simple, very easy. So that's all for today. And if you like my video, please share with your friends and family who ever need it. And, and also, if you not, if you never visit my um, channel, if you never watch my video, and if somehow you just get it and you like it, please subscribe my channel if you don't subscribe yet. And also, just um, hit the bell icon. So that's how you can get my next video. And I'm trying to upload uh, small, small videos for different, different subjects. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you in another episode. And even stay safe. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Bye.